the word was omitted. They gave the impression that something was wrong. That person was formally employed at Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls, shared to challenge the authority of those guys with their truth. However, their time is up. The public is now aware that Angelina Jolie tried to warn us about Oprah by refusing to work with her back in the day. This is because Oprah Winfrey controversies have recently come to light. The best thing you have all done for your lives, according to Angelina, is come together as a family. Yes, as I said, it's the best endeavor I've ever undertaken. Oprah Winfrey is a person who has interacted with the majority of Hollywood's elite celebrities. She is influential in many ways while maintaining a level of respect among her peers. She is someone who has always questioned the appropriate individuals about all the crucial matters, after all. The one global figure who purportedly refused to be in the same room as Oprah is Angelina Jolie. While many people were prepared to sit down with Oprah and answer some of the most personal questions ever posed, and others even dreamed of being on her show, Angelina Jolie was one of the few. The first time I went to Cambodia was when I came to the realization that, at some point in our lives, we all kind of really doubt how much we know, how much schooling we've had, and what we've been told. Numerous reporters have spoken with Angelina Jolie in the past, and throughout her career, she has always been quite open and honest. She has strangely kept her mouth shut when talking about Oprah Winfrey, though. Someone with the same caliber as her and who shares her passion for philanthropy. When she established the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa in 2006, it appears that Oprah Winfrey had high hopes of working with Angelina Jolie. Because helping those in need is a dream they both share. After all, Angelina Jolie had already adopted a kid in Ethiopia and spent a significant amount of time in Africa following the birth of her daughter Shiloh in Namibia. Oprah believed that by working together, they might accomplish much for other girls across the continent. According to a source familiar with the matter who spoke to Fox News, Jolie reportedly had no interest in participating, and Oprah felt hurt by the rejection because she had assumed Angelina would jump at the chance. Oprah allegedly felt betrayed and rejected. Evidently, she succeeded the last time. She will solicit Angelina's assistance for any of her causes. According to media tabloids, Angelina Jolie turned down the opportunity to work with Oprah for personal reasons, and she has never forgave Oprah for supporting Jennifer Aniston following the couple's breakup. This is strange because no philanthropist would refuse to assist only because of erratic personal concerns, right? But who knows, really? It's possible that Angelina declined to collaborate with Oprah because she didn't feel comfortable doing it, and she knew negative things would result. Given that Harvey Weinstein, who Angelina had previously advised against, is a friend of Oprah's. Oprah Winfrey's past scandals have unexpectedly come to light again just recently. Oprah's older South African school incident also caused the phrase, Oprah School Missing Girls, to become popular. Several online users have engaged in a discussion on whether the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls Kids are safe. Some allege that several students have mysteriously vanished. For those who are still unaware, Oprah established the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa in 2007. And Angelina supposedly declined to provide her support. And this was after she had discussions about the impending poverty in the nation with Nelson Mandela. The 52-acre property of the $46 million boarding school eventually opened with a number of features. When the previous controversies surrounding the school have subsided, there have been numerous unfounded allegations going around that several students from the school vanished. What happened to the South African girls prompted a torrent of internet users to the social media network. However, no news source reported that the institution was investigating a case of missing women. Therefore, it is still unknown where the rumors regarding the missing girls started in 2009. The educational institution was shaken by a second controversy three years after its debut. Yes, there was the first major sexual controversy, and seven of their pupils were expelled as a result of pestering their fellow students in a sexual manner. According to the New York Daily News, the alleged offenders allegedly made an effort to persuade their classmates to engage in lesbian affairs. The 15-year-old girl insisted that her victims lie to the police about what had occurred, according to a South African news station. This news, which came just two years after the initial assault scandal, got people talking and asking why the school was so problematic while it was still relatively new. Oprah Winfrey had stated that the first occurrence had left her feeling completely rattled. 
Out of the allegations of sexual assault against a female staff worker at her then new boarding school for disadvantaged girls in South Africa. She stated at a news conference held by Satellite Link from Chicago to Johannesburg that this had been one of the most devastating, if not the most catastrophic experience of her life. I just sobbed when I initially got the news. My mind was unable to process it. However, after an hour, I managed to gather myself and understood that my top concern was to consider what would be best for the ladies. The word children was not used. They gave the impression that something was wrong. Even while Oprah attempted to minimize the situation by asserting that it wasn't actually sexual abuse, numerous girls had already shown up and accused one of their matrons of abusing them sexually at the time. In Silo King Magistrates Court, Virginia Mogabo, the former dormitory matron at the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in Henley on Clip, was charged with 13 counts of assault, including recruiting young girls to engage in lewd behavior and indecent assault. At least six girls and a 23-year-old woman were allegedly assaulted, according to the charge sheet against Miss Mugabo. A girl was allegedly seized by the throat and thrown against a wall by the former dormitory matron, who is also accused of fondling students, according to South African press sources. Because Elton Hewitt, the state prosecutor, had characterized the accusations as extremely severe, Oprah was forced to link other school staff members to misbehavior. In order to make a heartfelt appeal to students and their parents for forgiveness, Winfrey had to travel to South Africa. Announcing that she was cleaning house at the school and that the headmistress's contract wouldn't be renewed, she also admitted that the hiring process had been insufficient. She then dismissed the headmistress of the school. Nambala Lerato Emzamain an adult's alleged misbehavior against any girl at the school is the most serious and devastating thing to me, Winfrey said in a statement at the time. I shall take all reasonable steps to protect and care for them. Nakopo was found not guilty on the charges, which deeply saddened Winfrey. I will always be proud of the nine girls who spoke with the courage and conviction necessary to be heard, she added in a statement. The headmistress later sued Winfrey. The lawsuit was settled outside of court with the terms of the settlement remaining a secret after she fired M. Zemain for defamation. After a short while, Oprah Winfrey's South African School for Girls was once more rocked by a new scandal as authorities looked into the body of a newborn found in one of the students' luggage. The baby's remains was discovered in the bag of a 17-year-old woman who had been taken to a hospital for treatment of severe bleeding, police Lundelo Dlamini told a BC News in a statement. The youngster, who has not been named, is thought to have given birth at her school, the Girls Leadership Academy of Oprah Winfrey. For some reason, she then placed the infant in her bag. When we last heard about the situation, the girl had not been charged. Additionally, Police and the Director of Public Prosecutions were talking about the matter, and more information will be shared after the inquiry was finished. Additionally, confirming to local tabloids that the girl was still healing in the hospital was Police Commander Shadow Mashabane. Winfrey's Academy in Chicago declined to comment on the event because a juvenile was involved, and nothing else has been heard about it since, a spokesman for the school told ABC News. Some parents of students at Oprah's school reported that the school was administered like a jail, with the girls only being allowed a certain amount of visits, emails, and phone calls to their families while these incidents were happening. According to a supporter, Angelina Jolie may have believed that keeping her distance from Oprah was in her best interest due to all the shady activities that surround her. Everyone believes Oprah Winfrey to be a great individual. But in reality, she is a Hollywood handler who runs a highly unsettling girls' school in Africa which Angelina Jolie has long refused to fund. Make some inquiries. Oprah is a nasty person. One person urged everyone to pay attention to Angelina Jolie's expression during Oprah's contradictory speech at the Golden Globes. Seriously, examine Angelina Jolie's face closely. Angelina is aware. For many years, Oprah has contributed to the issue. While others applauded Oprah, she remained with her hands crossed and indignant. Let us hear from you folks, then. What do you guys think Angelina's separation from Oprah is due to? Does she have any more justifications for not wanting to be linked with Oprah? Comment below and let us know. To be clear, this video is based on my beliefs and opinions and shouldn't be taken as reality. I'm done now. Bye.